The fact that the beekeeper has made a lot of money and received some critical success for Jason Statham is, on one level, pretty exciting for the actor. Yet the movie's performance may be bad news for another of his action franchises. Yeah, we're talking about The Expendables here, because for over two decades, Statham has been one of the world's leading action stars, revitalizing the genre with his performance in The Transporter and later Fast and Furious. However, with this next major project, it's kind of obvious that the beekeeper's popularity with viewers, things that may Maybe the next Expendables movie won't happen. No, I can't do this. I can't go through with it. Not even for him. In The Beekeeper, Statham plays the enigmatic Adam Clay, a beekeeper and master hitman who embarks on a twisted revenge mission involving politics, financial fraud, and a secret network of underground operatives, also bees. It has become Statham's best reviewed movie since 2015, a major milestone considering the huge franchises the actor has been involved in. And these positives could ultimately be bad news for the fans of another Statham project, you know, the one we just talked about. Thanks! Thanks a lot! The combination of a positive critical response and strong box office returns should make The Beekeeper a better bet for Statham's new franchise than The Expendables. Ever since Stallone's reduced role in The Expendables 4, it has been assumed that Statham will step into the breach as the series' leading man. However, the four quells disastrous box office, okay, four quells? What the hell is that? It's a sequel to a sequel, that's still a sequel. A fourth installment makes The Expendables a quadrology. Okay, it did poorly at the box office and with audiences. Moving on. Aside from the evidence that audience interest in The Expendables seems to have run its course, duh, here are some reasons why future Beekeeper films are a better bet for Statham. Well, duh. For starters, the Beekeeper's movies have already set up several unanswered questions, which we're not going to talk about here, but believe us, they need answering. And the only person we think that can answer them is Jason Not Expendable Statham. That's who. I mean, John Wick is a prime example of a series that started out with little fanfare, yet exploded to become one of the biggest IPs in Hollywood. Now, will the Beekeeper achieve similar success? Well, go see it and leave us a comment below explaining why or why not. That's not homework, by the way. We don't do that here at Screen Rant. But we do love reading your thoughts.